Well, look who just flies over the fence and comes to take a stroll in the pond. A wild raptor named Emu. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love Ready? Go! Go! Emo, you think you can just jump over the fence whenever you want. Morning, Fred. All right, Emu. Oh, come on. All right. I think you can just jump over the fence. How's Doris doing today? You can do it, I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to navigate all with all these animals around here. Ready, go. You tipped over your wagon bed again, Willow. All right, you're free. We lock Willow up at night so that she doesn't nurse from Penny and we can get some milk before we put them back together. So, we gotta do that because Penny will let Willow nurse forever. Penny is by far our most milk, but we can only get milk from her one time because the other time willow drinks every single bit of it all during the day and when we put that udder shield on there it doesn't work at all it just moves around and she can still drink through it so what do we do to make it so she doesn't drink any milk throughout the day we could separate her but that's not yeah we'd have to willow. have willow in a cage in a different pen and she doesn't get to play around with her friends Jeez Louise, we want all the milk from Penny here, but Willow just drinks it all. Hey, you gonna still nurse for mom? Hmm? Yeah. You're my favorite, did you know that? We've been letting Mabel in with Floki every night for the last few days because we wanted to see if she's gonna go into heat again. Remember, we don't want her to go into heat again. If she does, it wouldn't be horrible because he's here and he could breed her. They both wanna come out. You guys got to get off. Can't open it until you get off. There you go. Okay, go. Mabel, run, run. Okay. Well, we got irrigation last night, but it was a super low flow. And that's one of the most frustrating things about having irrigation is that any neighbor who forgets to open their gate makes it so we don't get our full amount of water. So it's kind of good that you have to collaborate with your neighbors and kind of bad because when people forget, you're out of luck. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll post a link above here. Irrigation, it's how we water in Arizona. You know, Minnie actually smells like Floki. I think she comes out here and has like late night dates with him. Yeah, Minnie, our Yorkie dog. No, he doesn't have any, of course. Floki, why do you have to make things so difficult? Why do you have to eat hay? Gosh. Lydia's got a really good trick that she uses leaves to deter the goats while she puts her chaff hay in the feeder. Let's see if it works. If it works for three of the goats, then we can put the chaff hay in really easily. There's no goats here to get in our way. They even spill some on the ground for Fred and George. 
Well, we had some branches blow down so the goats get some free leaves to snack on. They eat them so fast. And you have to turn them over. And then they'll eat them better when you turn it over. Only all the goats were as well behaved as you. Figuring out this shade is the biggest piece of garbage in the world. Hopefully we only need two. We want to keep the pond nice and shaded and cool to swim in, but it's so hard to figure out where to put all the poles and everything. <sighs> Getting this corn to germinate is not easy. First I had to soak the corn, then I had to plant and make sure that the birds couldn't get in. Unfortunately, they did get into one box. They found a little opening and they ate all of the corn. And then finally we have to water it enough so it won't dry out during germination, which is really hard to do in Arizona, especially since we've had a really bad heat wave the last few days. But I think I've had like 80% success, so that's a good thing. So hopefully if I can keep watering, we'll get the last little few to germinate and it'll all be good. I've committed a cardinal sin in gardening. I tried to grow tomatoes when you shouldn't. So tomatoes here are all in the spring and I tried to do it in the summer because I thought this would be a shady area, but I was wrong. So I'm gonna pull out the measly ones that are left and I'm gonna feed them to the pigs so I can make more room for these cucumbers because they're doing way better. Are you tired of figuring out this whole contraption? Yes, you need my muscles? Yeah. Okay, I've got them. So many different contraptions. Hopefully we only have to do this 10 months out of the year. <laughs> Once we get it all figured out, Oh yeah, so they're a little bit. I guess it has to be a thicker one. All right. What? It's always a surprise. It's what did Janelle present. order online? It's a present for me. Do you guys know what it is? What the heck? Um, Feather roots. It's called water lettuce. Oh, and it cool. goes in the bog and they multiply. You can eat it? You know what, I don't think you can eat it, but it's just because just it looks like lettuce. It looks like feathers. It did really well too. We got a ton of food for the pigs. Watch this trick. Oh. <laughs> Emu. Emu. <laughs> Always want some slop. And the chickens. Oh yeah, chickens like big slop too. But they can't find an opening. Only emu can because you got the wrong neck. I found a tooth from one of the pigs, I think, in the hay feeder. It's a pretty scary tooth. Well, look who just flies over the fence and comes to take a stroll in the pond. A wild raptor named Emu. Probably just eating our fish and stuff. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. You're my servant that that tests yes. all my food. She wants to see if someone dies first. <laughs> we'll let you, we'll let Kevin die first. I don't even like regular pickles, so. They taste like piccolo. Tastes good. And I normally don't like pickles at all, but. So the fermentation book I read said, you go by what you taste mm -hmm. and what you smell. And if it tastes bad or smells bad, then don't eat it, but it tastes good. I like that it. it's crisp. Some pickles are way too soggy. Yeah, yeah, they are really crisp. So, success. Well, maybe success. Maybe tomorrow we might be dead. Good time. Yeah. It's pickly, just like we like it. Our freezer got opened and left open for four days and it was the nastiest garbage in the whole world. It was horrible. And it smelled up our whole house and backyard and so we cleaned it all out. Kevin had to take it all apart. So yeah, we took about all the every juices had inch. 
seeped everywhere. And bleached the heck out of it. You can finally bring it back into our house yeah. without dying of stench. Yeah. make sure and carry these out to the milking station. Otherwise, the kids are gonna forget it tonight and tomorrow, and who knows what they'll decide to do. Maybe they'll come in and get it, or maybe they'll just skip the wipey step, which is unacceptable. Kevin, it's so funny how after a day of like 116, this like 110 feels cool. Oh yeah, it does kind of feel cool. <laughs> like our, our bodies have adjusted, oh, yeah. and now we feel like, hey, that's not that bad. Let's have a picnic. Another installment of Danelle makes the same dinner that she always makes. At least once a week. It's fajitas or tacos, right? We live in Arizona, so we gotta eat Mexican food. What's that have to do? We live in Arizona. <laughs> so in Arizona, we only eat the food that is indigenous to our location. But first you guys need to help us solve this debate. I bought chicken. I bought chicken on Monday. <laughs> And I swear I bought chicken, but it's not here. It's not in the fridge, it's not in the freezer, it's nowhere to be found. So Kevin thinks that I forgot to buy chicken, but I didn't. I swear I didn't bring it. I had the chicken, I took it out, I put it on the counter. So he had to go and he had to get rotisserie chickens last minute. So basically if you side with Kevin, I forgot the chicken. But if you side with me, somebody came in the house and stole our chicken. Find it in like a cabinet, and it's gonna be in there all oh, like. So now we're just waiting for everybody to come home. We've got peppers and tortillas. These are really cool sweet potato tortillas. Guac, pico cheese, and then we're gonna make a really fun drink tonight. Can you eat this plain and it tastes good? I'm just wondering. Try it. <laughs> Why would you make me do that, Mom? <laughs> it's just sparkling water. We're gonna combine that with, I mixed coconut milk and honey and lime, and I had to kind of cool it down a little bit, so I had it in the fridge. This is gonna be combined with the sparkling water, and we're gonna make this fun, like, drink. It's called stuff, Agua Fresca. Is this stuff really sweet? Um, try it. <laughs> it is, it's, it's got honey in it. Hold on, I gotta mix it up. I think it's good. It's gonna be, like, super gross. I think it's good. It looks pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna mix that. Thanks for putting that back in there. That was really nice of you. <laughs> Tell the truth. Did you take my chicken and throw it in the garbage? No. Or give it to the pigs? Danelle's trying to blame me because she thought she put it in the fridge, but she's having a brain fart. You it's took so it. Sad. Somebody stole it. <laughs> I think it may be time to cut Emu's feathers a little bit so he can't fly so high. He's up on top of the cage six feet tall, and the goats are just gonna sit there and watch him. <laughs> All right, Emu, time for bed. I think that's it for tonight, guys. We'll see you later.